Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to use the fairing factory. Um, quick note, if you care about what's up with me, what's going on with the channel, look in the description. I don't want to waste too much time at the beginning of the video. I already wasted too much. Okay, let's jump right into it. What is the fairing factory? Well, normally when you have rockets in Kerbal Space Program, whatever you have at the top is kind of just sticking out in the open. You know, it doesn't have a nice smooth rocket. And, uh, you know, in the real world, they have fairings that they use for aerodynamics and whatnot and to keep sensitive parts out of the wind during the launch or whatever. So this place allows you to make your own custom fairings in whatever shape, whatever size you need so that you can have your rockets be like that. Okay, so as it says right here, select a base size. Now you have to scroll down for that or it might be on the right on your side, depends on the screen. Uh, depends on your screen size. Base diameter, so you can have a half meter, a meter, two meters, three meters, five meters. Let's just let's just choose three meters for now. And you can see up here, it's changed this shape. See, this is two meters. This is three meters. So <clears throat> it widens out because it's more. Place points along the outline of your fairing by clicking inside the edited area. So you move your mouse in here. Sorry, you can't see my mouse, but you see that dot that's showing up on the line as I'm moving it back and forth near the top, that's where my mouse is. So you click, and then it turns into a, a circle like that. You see how that's a circle now on the right side. Left side, it doesn't show up, because that's where my mouse is. But you can see how I'm dragging this line. So you can make it like really blunt if you want. You can make it really narrow, really long if you want. Or you can make it somewhere in the middle like, like that. I don't know. Um, now, as you go along the line, you can add more of these or you can go to where one exists and you see how it has that little white circle instead of the filled in gray circle so you can take the top one you can't move it left and right but you can bring it up and down as as you want um, you can add more like I said you can move this one around <clears throat> down here you can add more um, I'm not sure if you can no you can't you can't change where it's at at the bottom because that's your base diameter of course but you can do whatever you want alongside. Like, let's say we need a little extra space here or whatever. Well, okay, so cut your fairing into sections. Uh, so this is the cut area, this orange side on the bar. You can see the little bar going up and down where that's where my mouse is. You can take this one that's already there by default. You can move it around. You can add another. Uh, you can take one that you've added and move it around as necessary. You can cut it into as many sections as you need for what you need. <clears throat> Okay, to remove a point or a cut line, click on it and then press X. So like I click this one, I'm dragging around, I hit X, it's gone. I click this thing, this dot, I hit X, it's gone. X, gone. X, gone. Now it's really pointy and weird looking. Uh, <clears throat> now that's fine and dandy, but what if you need, uh, what if you need to see the measurements. You need to see how big this is going to be. So now you can see there's lines on here. For the left and right, for the vert horizontal measurements, you see it starts at zero in the middle, and then going to the left or to the right, it says one meter, and then going further, it says two meters. So to find out the diameter, of course, you have to add those together. So like right here on this white line where you can see my mouse moving around a bit, well, not my mouse, but whatever, you can see where it says one meter, but that's actually two meters because you got to look at it on both sides, right? Um, I wish they had half meter increments, but whatever, whatever. Uh, hopefully he adds that. Um, but yeah, you can you can do that. I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, that's the wrong button. I accidentally hit the Windows key. Um, and then also up and down, you can see here at the bottom is zero meters. It doesn't show it, but then it's one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, etc. So you can get an idea for how big it needs to be based on how big the parts are in the game. Now, if you're paying attention to the parts, you can see how big they are because it tells you. But if not, they also have this handy little picture here. So now you can see we got one of the 3 meter tanks here. Actually, not 3 meter. I'm sorry. The 2 meter tanks here, because that's actually 2 meters. You can see with the white lines. That's the 2 meter tank right there. And then you can see these bigger landing gear, the smaller landing gear, the 1 meter tank, a, com a command prob... Command prob blah, blah, blah part. Um, I can't speak, obviously. <clears throat> so that gives you some idea of reference. Of course, for bigger rockets, that picture isn't going to be as helpful, but whatever. Um, also, you can set this snap to 0.05 meter increments, 
so that when you're dragging one of these dots around, it snaps to different spots. So can you see how it's kind of jumping around rather than dragging around? Because <clears throat> it's snapping to the nearest segment. So you can have more precise, like I can put this precisely on the line, easily just move this dot precisely on the line because of that. Or precisely in the middle. I'm not sure if that's in the middle or I need to drag it left. Yeah, it's in the middle. Um, of course, you can make whatever funky shapes you want. Just got to remember, the way this is going to work, it's gonna, this is like a cross section right at the middle. It's going to be perfectly round following this cross section all the way around. So like you can see this one, like right here where I drag it in, like, okay, look where it just spiked out. That's, that's in at, at the two meter line. So right there, it's going to be two meters around. And then over here, this part, this is going to be about three meters around because it's about halfway. Uh, actually, yeah, it's exactly halfway. Um, when you're ready with your design, there's two textures. This one with the orange line and white. That one has like some rivets on the edges, and then it has an orange stripe going up each side. This other one, I haven't actually used, but looking at it right now, it's it basically it basically looks like uh, sheets of metal stapled together. I don't know. That's that's about the best description I can give it. There's also these zoom buttons down here at the bottom. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how those work because I have never gotten them to work for me. Uh, they work for some people. I believe, uh, apparently, if you use Chrome, they work. I tried it on Chrome and it didn't work. I'll have to try it again, but I'm on Firefox right now and they just don't work. But um, hopefully they work for you because it's a big handicap to be limited to this box right here. This is, this is my entire space to work with. I can't make really big payload fairings like for that N1 rocket. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this will help you make awesome fairings for your awesome rockets. Uh, there's a link in the description to go to the website. And, uh, and so you just, oh yeah, so you just make it and you click send down here. And then it says processing and then it turns into a download button. You download that zip. It has some parts in it. It basically, it's a zip. There's a parts folder or is there? I don't remember. But anyhow, you'll see a bunch of parts that have file names like FF kits, uh, number something, whatever, and you just drag those into your parts folder of KSP, and it adds the payload fairings. Hopefully, this uh, helps you out. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.